everyone, I'm Lara and this is Go Simply. Today we're going to do a chair seated dumbbell ab workout. So we're going to be using a dumbbell to work all of the muscles in the abdominals, the lower back, all around the core. The only equipment you are going to need today is a chair and a single dumbbell or weight. Kettlebell would work fine. Uh, anything for some weight. Uh, so give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel, and let's get started with our warm up. Okay, our warm up today is just going to be freestyle, so let's just do a few shoulder rolls to the back and then move it to the front. And then let's make it some arm circles forward. And then let's take those to the back. And then let's put those hands on our shoulders and just twist from one side to the other, warm up a little bit through the torso. One more each way. And come back to center. Let's put those arms out. And then we're just going to slide off to one side, back to center, and slide to the other side. So keep both of your sits bones, keep your bottom firmly on the chair, and just sliding at the waist from side to side and get those obliques warmed up. good and let's just do some knee to elbow if we can just marching it nice and slowly no weights yet that's great we'll do one more each side good and let's do some side reaches So today's workout is going to be about 20 minutes long, including the warm up and the cool down. Let's do one more each side. And then let's just do sort of a moving cat cow. So I'm going to turn to the side to show you. I'm going to put my hands, sort of rest them on my knees, and I'm going to arch my back up and then really pull back through. So we're going to do exercises for 20 seconds on with a 10 second rest in between. We're going to go through the whole list of exercises and then start back at the beginning and do them all again. And we're going to do that four times. So we'll do all of the exercises once, then all of the exercises for a second round, and then all of them for a third round and all of them for one last round before we do a cool down and they will all be 20 seconds of the exercise with a 10 second break in between to prepare for the next move. There. That should be good. Take any last movements. If there's something that you need to do to still warm up, grab a single dumbbell, kettlebell, weight of some kind, and meet me back here. Okay, everybody, I've got my weight. So we're going to start with a kayak paddler. So just pick it up in front of you. And we're going to twist to one side and then twist to the other. Just like we're paddling with our paddling with our paddle. Is that how you would say that? And twisting off to each side. You really feel that through the obliques. Okay, take a break. Our next one is going to be an overhead side bend. So you're going to see these exercises four times in the end. So you'll get used to them, arms overhead. So we're just going to lean off to one side, come back to straight, and then lean off to the other. And the weight is really going to add some extra intensity there. Keep those abdominals in nice and tight. Excellent. So next up we're going to do a wood chop all off onto one side. 
I'm going to start on my left, you start with whatever works for you, we will do both sides. Okay, so down low, and then rotate up, and you'll notice I'm not going quickly, we're rotating the spine with weights, so we don't want to do this fast, or we risk injury to the back, but it is a very good way to really get those muscles working, as long as we do it appropriately. Okay, take a break. We're going to wood chop to the other side now. So remember, we're only doing these for 20 seconds a piece. So twist and then up. But we are going to do them all four times through. So that means we're actually getting 20, 40, 60, 80 seconds of work or a minute and 20 seconds of each exercise when you add it all up. Excellent job. So next we're going to do a knee twist to elbow, so sort of like in our warm-up, but we're going to hold the weight here and we're going to just twist and touch the knee. And we're going to alternate it, so one side and then twist and do the other. See if you can get that elbow to the outside of your knee. Now, if you don't have lower body mobility, you can just twist the weight to one side and then the other. Okay, next up we're doing a V-sit extension. So, I'm going to show you from the side. I'm going to rest my weight on my hips. I'm going to lean back and I'm going to pull my knees in and then push them out. And pull them in. And I am moving my upper body as well. If you don't have lower body mobility, then you are just doing the upper body part. Excellent job. Now we're going to do a torso rotation with a front raise hold. So holding the weight way out in front of us and then twisting to one side and coming back to center and the other side and coming back to center. You don't have to go super far and holding this weight way out in front of us is a long lever and it really gets that back and abdominals involved. Excellent. And the next we're going to do our leg scissors with um, a shoulder press hold. So we're going to hold the weight now above our head and you're going to take your legs out in front and just scissor them back and forth. Okay. And if you don't have leg mobility, then you're just holding this weight up. Okay, so keep scissoring those legs. All right, that's round one. So we are starting over again with our kayak paddler. Now you've seen all of the exercises, all eight of them. Okay, so paddling through the waters. It is fall here in Canada. A lot of people go out on the waters in the fall to see the leaves, the foliage, and it's different colors. Excellent. So take a break and then we're going back to that um, overhead side bend. So again, arms overhead and just lean off to one side and then lean off to the other side. I love how fast the Tabata timer goes with just 20 seconds. It goes so fast. There, there's our break, that you don't notice how tired you're getting. Uh, but by the time you've done four rounds, whew, it really adds up. So we're wood chop. So I'm going down to one side and then twisting it up and overhead. Uh, it is definitely possible to work our abdominals well seated. So don't always feel like you have this break time. Don't always feel like you have to get down on the mat if you don't like getting down onto the mat or if it's not possible for you. Okay, we'll chop to the other side. You can definitely do it from a seated position. You can take a little office break and do some of these moves. You don't even have to have the weight. You can do all of these moves without a weight. You're still going to work that core. Okay, so next up we're doing that knee twist to elbow. 
It is so important for functionality to keep our core strong. So again, try to get to the outside of the knee if possible. And again, you don't need a weight for this either. You can do all of these moves in the whole workout without a weight. But if we can keep the core strong, we're going to um, be able to avoid the majority of back pain that arises, especially as we get older, if we can keep those muscles strong. So now we're doing that V-sit extension, rest the weight, and pulling those legs in and out. And if you can, you can move, oh, my weight is sliding. You can move the upper body, oh, my weight went right through. Maybe I'm gonna use one hand and sort of hold it here. But you can just do the leg part if you want. Or you can just do the upper body part. Okay. Now we're going to do that torso rotation with the front raise hold straight out in front of us. And just twist from one side and then the other side. So make sure you're breathing. I'm finding that as I get through these and my heart rate is getting up a bit. That I'm definitely huffing and puffing. Okay, and next up we're going to do those scissors with the press above our head. Uh, and we don't want to hold our breath. It makes it a lot harder. Hi, Mittens. This is my other kitty, Mittens. She's my less active kitty. Hi, sweetheart. She doesn't come in here very often. It's usually Boot. She's my more moody cat, Mittens. So now we're going to start round three. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. Yes, you're a good girl. Okay, so we're going to paddle our kayaks. She loves to come and see me when I'm doing yoga, Mittens does. She really likes Shavasana. It's her favorite part at the end when we lie on the mat. She's very good at it. And believe it or not, she does lie on her back with her legs splayed out and her arms splayed out overhead. Maybe one day she will do that for you so you can see, because it's not, I wouldn't say it's typical cat behavior. Arms overhead, side bend. Um, but then again, if I've learned anything from the two cats we have, it's that they're not typical, and I'm not sure that cats are super typical. <laughs> So just bending from side to side. Hello, sweetheart. I know I'm trying to do a workout. Okay, then we have the wood chops. Hi. Yes, am I not giving you enough attention? So wood chop down to one side and then out. Oh, she's purring away right now. She's enjoying this ab workout. She's not doing any of the moves, but she's here with us, and that's what counts. Okay, excellent. Take a little break, and then we'll go to the other side. <laughs> Something spooky. Off to the right side, and then up to the left, or whichever side you didn't do last time. So we're already, we are already over halfway through round two. No, round three. Excellent. So now we're going to do that knee twist to elbow. Okay, so weight is up. Oh, now boot is at the door. She must have heard mittens. Oh my goodness. Oh no, my timer's right. I thought my timer had cut off, but it didn't. We're, we're good. We're good. I'm getting paranoid about nothing. Excellent. So now we're going to do that V-sit extension, and I'm going to show you how you can do it one-legged. Uh, I should have shown you at the beginning. But if you're finding it hard to pull both legs in, you can keep one leg and do one leg for 10 seconds. That is just fine if that's better for your back. And then at the halfway point, just switch. Okay, so please use that as an option. It's a good option. I actually like this option myself. Okay, now we're going to do the torso rotation. 
with the front raise hold, so arms straight out in front. So turning and turning. Just a few more seconds here. Okay, good, I can feel my arms getting tired. And now we're going to do those leg scissors. Again, arms overhead, and just scissor those legs. And of course, the farther forward you sit on your chair, the harder this will be. So if you're finding it really hard to hold those legs up, slide further back on your chair and more of your leg will be supported. Excellent. We're starting round four, last round. We can do it. We can do it. So kayak paddler. So paddling to one side and then the other. I should have put this move at the end because it's my favorite one. But that's okay. I'm going to power through it with you. You guys are here to motivate me to keep going. We need each other for that. Okay, excellent. We're going to do that overhead side bend. This is the last time that we're seeing all of these exercises, so let that be motivation for you. So bend to one side, and then the other. So overall, this is a pretty challenging abdominal workout in a chair for sure. Uh, it is I would not at all say it's a beginner workout, and the more weight you add, of course, the harder it will be. So it's something you can grow with. Okay, and now we're going to do our wood chop. So off to one side, and then up. I'm thinking of what I might like to do with my afternoon today, and I think maybe I'll go out into the backyard and... Maybe pick some apples and make some applesauce. It feels like that kind of day. Excellent. Then we'll do our wood chop to the other side. It's fall here. The apples are ready and applesauce tastes so good. Do you like applesauce? Let me know in the comments if you like applesauce. And have you ever made your own? I love making applesauce and I'm a lazy applesauce maker. I don't peel my apples. It's my secret. Everyone wonders how I get this lovely rose color to my applesauce, and I don't peel them. I just cut out the core. So take a break, and we're doing knee to elbow tap next. I cut out the core, and I chop it into smaller pieces so it doesn't take as long. So knee twist, and I put them in a big, I have a big soup stock pot, and I put a little water in the bottom so that they don't burn. And then I let them boil away. They just simmer away for a good, oh, 45 minutes. Let them get all soft. And then I use my immersion blender. Okay, take a rest. Next up is that V-sit extension. I'm going to show you again the one-legged version. It, I actually am enjoying that one better. Okay, so leaning. So just pull that knee in. And you have to use the Immersion Blender for quite a while. It probably takes me a solid 10 minutes of blending, but it gets all the skin. It's completely smooth. I have picky, oops, I forgot to switch side. I have picky children who will not eat lumpy applesauce. Uh, and it goes completely smooth, like I'm talking baby food smooth, as long as you keep blending it. We're going to do the torso rotation with the front raise hold. And it has this lovely rose color from the skins. And I don't sweeten ours. Uh, we all love just the taste of the apple. We're an apple-loving family. But you certainly could add a little bit of brown sugar or some cinnamon or some brown sugar and cinnamon if you wanted to. But it's such a great way to do it. And you don't have to sit there and peel for hours on end to make your applesauce. Even if you have one of those you know, quick apple core peelers all in once, this is fast. Uh, oh, leg scissors. Oh my goodness. Look at I'm just chatting away and forgetting the workout. And all of that fiber is in the skin. If you take the skin off, you're missing out on a lot of nutrients. So it's faster, it's lazy, it's less mess, and it's better for us. Excellent. 
So you can put your weight off to the side. We're going to do just a little bit of a cool down here. So I'm actually, my weight rolls. I'm just going to roll it off to the side. And I'm just going to do a little twist to one side. Just hold that for a minute. Yeah, so let me know in the comments if you've ever made your own applesauce. And do you take the skin off or do you leave it on? I don't know many people who leave the skin on. But I have convinced people now to do it. And most people who have tried it said, you know what, it does work. I didn't think it would. So just twist off to the other side here. And then let's just twist, or sorry, lean off to one side. Get a nice side bend. I might have actually make apple crisp as well. I love apple crisp. It's so delicious. And then the other side. I do like apple pie. You know, my problem is I hate making pastry. I don't really, when I make pumpkin pie, I do it on a graham cracker crust because it's just so much easier to make. My husband can make pie crust. Oh, he's good at making pie crust. I, on the other hand, am not. Okay, and let's put our hands on our shoulders and just do some of those twists nice and slowly again. So whenever I make a pie, I do it on a graham cracker crust base, regardless of what kind of pie it is. So I do more like crumbles and crisps and things like that, and he does pies. Okay, and then let's just do some cat-cow again. So hands on the knees, let's give that lower back a nice stretch out. And then arch it and get a nice stretch through the abdominals. So we really worked those obliques a lot today. You may feel a little bit of stiffness in the sides. Just be sure to keep stretching it out if you feel some of that stiffness. Just a couple more times here. And then the last thing I'm going to do are just some torso rolls. So you just sort of roll around on your chair in one direction, really sort of loosen up this middle. Okay, it feels weird, but who's watching? And then just reverse direction. Really roll through that whole pelvic girdle. Okay, and then anything else that feels good to you? Maybe you want to lean over a bit and stretch out that back. Maybe you want to lean back in your chair and push out that chest. Great job, everyone. Thank you for joining me today for that challenging abdominal seated workout. I love doing them seated. I love doing chair workouts. Don't let anyone ever tell you that they're not challenging enough, uh, that you're not working your body enough. You can do lower body. You can do midsection. You can do upper body. You do definitely need to have some modifications to make exercises work, but it is possible. And if chair workouts are what you like, then give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below. I will keep making them for you. I know they are hard to find on YouTube and I would be happy to provide them for you. It's something I do regularly in my own workout schedule. So I would be happy to provide them. They're an excellent way to work out. So hopefully I've provided you with another good one that you can add to your repertoire and I would love to see you in the next workout. Have a great day.